Good morning park managers and welcome back. Today we're going to be making a very nice little enclosure. I've been asked a few times to make a valley, like a herbivore valley enclosure. And I get this comment happening a fair few times on different videos. So I'm going to make my version of how I do a herbivore valley. Obviously they're going to need a water source and obviously with me only doing the display of this in a 4x4, we will have a river running through it. You can have it continuing under the fence to go into other enclosures and things like that. There's a lot of things you can sort of do with it. As well, the Herbivore Valley, I'd have platforms all the way down. Obviously, if you're designing this enclosure, you want your dinosaurs to be less wibbly wobbly up and down hills. You want them to have some nice flats with like the food sources on to encourage them to go up and down the hills and throughout the valley. It just makes for like an interesting level. And then I just decorate the outsides where it's more visible with rocks. Obviously, if you're like playing this on console and you want to put less stress on the game less less don't help as i figured it out uh, when i've been playing on pc i almost forget that i can do a, a lot more it feels like compared to what i could do on my xbox x uh, which is a bit of an advantage for playing on pc i suppose so as you can see right now i'm only decorating the inside with loads of rocks i'll also be doing the same with the plants on the outsides where guests ain't really gonna see it i do a lot less work on it uh, mainly because the femins in the center, the guests ain't going to be seen on the uh, outsides, they're just going to be seeing the center of this valley. And I had quite a good, uh, a fair bit of fun with this. I did two types of food nut bait, food nut, uh, two types of food brushes, the nut one, and as well as the fiber. So we're going to be having parasols, triceratops, and brachiosaurus all within this enclosure. We wanted to give it that kind of like lush feeling. So it sort of has like, a little bit of tropicalness, especially with the nut plant, but then it has a kind of bit of temperateness with all these temperate trees that we're placing down, funnily enough. And it's the kind of vibe I really enjoyed. I did use one or two jungle trees in this, so it sort of meshed with the local environment a wee bit. But I feel like the main big jungle tree works quite well in a temperate zone and just adds like a little bit extra, like something a little bit different to break it all up. So that's why they're sort of placed here and there. And I feel like this enclosure looks great for herbivores I really did enjoy making it so as well I put a bit of sand banking on the river as well just to break it up a bit like sometimes when you go to rivers especially the one near me further up you'll just find like little coves of build-ups of sand where it's either been dragged up from the sea or where it's been just so many broken stones and sort of crushed down into that sand like pace it just adds like a nice bit of like color contrast between everything that's going on inside the enclosure and a little bit of realism here and there but nevertheless i really did enjoy making this if you have any requests is there any kind of environments you would love to see put that down in the comments i do read all the comments and i might even get around to making your requests and showing how i would do it anyways thank you for watching until next time i'll see you later